It is Wednesday and uh, I'm back I'm taking the day off work. We are going to Road Creek and we're going to a place called Seagram's. There's meant to be about seven, eight people going up today, but I think it's just going to be me and Ed who just really want to sled rather than uh, sled ski. Um, and I just wanted to make these videos for fun, but uh, people said, okay, you need to do this, 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 this. So I'm going to try a bit of a sort of shorter video today. So, you know, <laughs> So we don't have to sit here for 30 minutes. Tim Hortons and go meet Ed, then we'll get up there. Oh. It's cheaper. All right, thank you. Literally $1.50 cheaper today. Maybe it's cheaper on Wednesdays. Maybe it's cheaper not at the weekend. Oh. <laughs> Looks good, doesn't it? <laughs> Yesterday was insane. I love the stucks. Like that video where you're just like, that guy's stuck, that guy's stuck, that guy's stuck. Like six stucks and everyone's on their own. Everybody so. in, the, in the site was stuck, yeah. Uh, hopefully, this isn't the old uh, parking attendant. Let's, oh, yeah, uh, let's go. <laughs> oh, God, is there anywhere to park? Get here at eight and you know stroll up, park up and go, but it's not gonna happen. Alright, guess we've got to go down and find a parking space. Okay, I'm gonna do exactly that. Well, that worked out well. I just wanted to share a few people what it was like getting this off. Warmed up. Easy. They got a nasty little nick here. Why you bend it the fuck in like? <laughs> First epic of the day. Here we go. <laughs> there it is. Look. There Boom. Go. Good as new. Good. You're going for it. <laughs> This is always like basically a mud field. Yeah. So you know the snow's good. Because the sun hits this the whole day. day. Yeah. Just said these are areas for bees. Obviously they're not there now. They've been taken to Pemberton, but that's why there's gates up here. If you've ever wondered. We definitely go right here. Yeah. Yeah. So we're breaking trail. The yeah. Okay. Oh wow. So that is Squamish Valley. So people come up from there to go sled skiing somewhere else. So this is unreal for Ed and I.
That looks like a bear print, so I think I'll get out of here. Alright okay, Cass, so I see what you're doing. Oh yeah. What a day not to work. Just definitely didn't need this today at all. Get it out, get it off. Best day ever <laughs> we've ever had it. Wow! Wow! Untouched. It's just insane. The snow is like perfect. It's cool. It's crisp. It's like fluffy. <laughs> definitely the best day. <laughs> yeah. Ice day free. There it is. There it is. There's the stack. <laughs> I'll give you a hand. One, two, three. <laughs> Alright, back to it. It's just gone over that stump. Fuck. Dude. That was stupid. Fuck. I hope your track's alright. I hope so too. That should probably be enough. <laughs> Shit. I might need a ski pole. Yeah, yeah. What's she on now? Kilometers? Like 5,000. And um, age 2018? Yeah. Yeah. So, doing pretty good. Five years, 5,000k. One, two. Yeah, you got it. Bouncy, bouncy.
a good day. Okay, that's one GoPro battery down. Oh yeah. <laughs> the power of the turbo. <laughs> There's nothing more you could have done about that, Ed. stuck at the moment it literally in the tree all right well just so you know where I am I'm up to your left all right I'm out thanks to Ed <laughs> I'm up for it. Where, where do you want to meet? Nice spot for lunch. Yeah, I don't need a little. I'm sweating so much. Oh, I bet you are, dude. So we had lunch at 10 a.m. <laughs> and uh, now we're just going up to the top of this to have a look at the view. Oh, it's feeling really cold up here. Minus nine, minus ten today, but whoa, that's chilly. Let's get the how warm this going. So up on this, or how warm is on max? Oh, we can go higher, nice. 
this Mr. Black came over there. So that's Seagram's. I think that is the sprout area, is my guess. And uh, that is Whistler. Brown think, over there. Yeah, the I think that one could be the back of Brown. Down to the sea to sky and it's endless. So we're going to go down to a new area. Right, you lead. It's always worse going down than up. That's a weird thing with sailing, you want to go uphill. Don't want to go off to the left there, that is steep. So just look, don't look at it, don't look at it. Ah! This here to the right, this is where people get dropped off and they ski down. It's Powder Mountain uh, cat skiing that. So if you like your uh, cat skiing, this is an awesome place to come as you can see. So I think we should go down on the on the right here. It's a little bit open and just see how it goes. We want to room we're in. Okay, I'll follow you. Okay. The worry is we won't be able to get back up. <laughs> so this is just too deep. So I think you can take a lower line. We're gonna go up to the left of this hill after I just pulled that massive wheelie all the way up. Oh, I wanna do it again. That was a big one.
riding I've ever done. Guy's getting good. Oh. <laughs> is can I get up there? Turbo life and all that. Interesting. <laughs> oh my goodness. Well done dude, smashed it. Oh. Can you can you cut a are you gonna try? And yeah, I'll cut you in. Try and get to the lake. Okay, let's not go then. me that top one which was a nice re-entry that one there you can't see I did a re-entry the sled went right up and back and then I took a little GoPro after so that's a new one for me an upside down stuck from a re-entry maybe I'll stop doing it until I know what I'm doing almost came on top of me Ed and I were kind of talking about how what would I do if I was stuck under the machine and he was far away we're getting tired, so I think we will head out soon. God, look at that hill. So clear. Beautiful day. And kind of had enough, really. We've best snow reading I've ever done. I've learned a lot today just by having fresh tracks. Oh, so to keep it short, I'll probably see you do a couple of clips on the way down, then see you in the car. Heading out. Yeah, 
there. So we can take the left boring turn. Or the super fun right turn, we're like, pow. I think we should do that one. <laughs> you wanted to go left, didn't you? <laughs> Oh yeah, there's that bridge. Oh! <laughs> Pal turns on the way out. How good is that? Looks like a couple of people copied our parking idea. I'm not looking forward to getting up the ramp today. It wouldn't be one of my videos without a cringy ending. That was one of the best, that is the best day snowmobiling I've ever had. And it just, from going up and having like fresh tracks on the trail to, to we had the place to ourselves all day long. I burnt all my fuel, I did 57k. Uh, got to 56k braking now, so that's down 20%, so we're getting there. And uh, I just like, the, the day was amazing, the snow was really good, the weather was good. I'm a happy guy for once, this is, uh, this is an odd feeling, feeling happy. Um, so, yeah, thank you, thank you Ed for coming, I'm kind of glad we took the risk and went left and tried that place out that no one had been first. Um, be interested to see how much fuel I, uh, I used. So take a guess. There's a lot of brapping today and it looks low. So I'm, I'm going to guess 30 litres. So we're doing the usual fuel stop uh, and then uh, and then wrap it up for the day. God, my eyes look good in this, don't they? Nice and blue. 26. Okay, 27. I reckon I can get another litre in there. 27, 28, Ed. 28 litres for 57k. Wow. That doesn't uh, work out too efficient. <laughs> 23 and a half. Okay, so five litres more, give or take. I think I did a bit more brapping. I probably could have kept going. Yeah. Oh, yeah, there'd be another. These are 36 litres, right? So. I don't think mine is 36, is it? Probably, yeah. But it'll probably have another 10 litres in there, yeah. So. Oh, well, now you know. Okay, that's it for today. See you on the next one, whenever that's going to be. Hopefully at the weekend.